Hi guys, Electro here. Uh, a bit of an update from last video. Um, last time we, I showed you how to get the square wave when I was working on 3 volts, which is about what I'll be working on with today that's on bad supplies. So, there just to turn it on. Now, last time I showed you how to get the, the square wave. Excuse me, I'll just take a seat. The problem with the square wave was that when you raise the amplitude, you can see that it raises off the zero axis, so you're raising the amps as well. Um, I couldn't get a square wave at all without having it do this. Um, anything any sort of input when you raise the amplitude with rectifiers you get a really sharp pulse like in between there you can see that the, the pulse is in between the, and on top of the, the square waves but you can't really double up on the square wave or change too much about it that's about or the best I can get with that, and you can't have it so when you raise the amplitude, it doesn't go up from the from the zero axis. Now, on the other side, I've done it with diodes this time, and um, what I get is this. Now, I can't get a square wave with the diodes, I can only get this sort of like a, a, a step wave. Now I can I can change the position of this step from down here to up there so it makes it sort of like a square wave with a little bit of a wavy top which rises up in a step charging fashion a little bit and then back down but it doesn't really make much difference to the to the overall production of the gas. Now again that's about as much gas as the square wave is a little bit less, I think, like that's that, and there's the square wave. See, I think the square wave makes a little bit more, but then again, I think it uses a little bit more power because it's up off the zero axis line, whereas this wave isn't. But the production still isn't bad. However, you can't put them both together. And as you can hear, the motor is not draining that much. And now the production on that isn't bad. That's where I'm up to with that. So, part two is this. This is the little um, alternator I was warning before and making. Now I've got it mounted on a aluminium base, which I had before for something else. This is screwed together. In there, it's got bearings. And um, they're the brushes that I've made now. How I've made those is I don't know if you could see it. Hang on, I'll just turn on the light. Cut a groove. the spindle here so I can feed my wires in underneath my um, rings and then solder them to the side like I have there yeah just there but I've done that on every single one and I've got uh, plumber's tape bunched up 
and squeezed between them. How this all fits onto that. Oh yeah, before I do that, I'll show you this. These are uh, these are the electromagnets that I had or that I got. Oh, they're pretty huge, huh? They they weigh about fifteen to twenty kilograms. They they're not light. They're big iron cores, and also the the, the cores themselves they they're huge. And the wire it's, it's pretty thick. I think they're two hundred and forty volts. The guy I got them from said they were for two forty volts, but they do work with the power supply I have up there, which runs the the alternator. So. I'll be able to do that. The difference with this is, and one of the reasons why I'm doing this, is with the normal alternators, and I'll show you this, without, um, without connecting anything at all to the alternator, if you turn it up past 5 volts, the eddy currents in the iron core and all that will cause the motor to bog down basically and strain. And it 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 wastes a lot of power because it it sort of fights against itself. What I'm trying to see the difference is uh, if I make the stator in this turn in the middle and the electromagnets on the outside, will that affect that that much? When you're dealing with making electricity like uh, this fashion, because I think this is a different draw on the alternator than it would be if it was a conventional type of setup. But anyway, more to do on that later. So just gonna get it. now I'll show you what the brushes I'm making on this. All they are are um, half round stainless steel wire. Now I've drilled a couple of holes up here. I've, I've, of course, I've got to drill more on both sides. But this is just to see if it works. And it does now. I'll be able to fix this wire down there with some light curing putty I have. Basically, it's like plasticine and it light cures on the UV light and goes rock hard in like 30 seconds or 10 seconds. So, I'll be able to use that to set everything. Now, as you can see here, um, oops, wrong one. Yeah, there. Now, the more pressure I put there, the more pressure that'll push onto the brushes with sand. As you can see there, when it when it turns, it just keeps contact with the brush, especially if that's got pressured um, pressure pushing down on it. So again, a bit crude, but. It'll work. The, the main advantage to that is I'll be able to rewind this myself in like a couple of hours and try a different wind before I, um, again, before I wind the permanent one. So uh, at the moment, this is, it's got six phases on it. It's basically by file wound. It's got one thick. Um, wind on it, and one thin, which is the um, the, the the thin wire. I, I don't know if you, could, you if you saw it here before, but it's it's this wire. So I've got. Three phases with this wire, and three phases with this wire. What I've tried to do with that, because I only had room for six phases, is Stan's got three or six foot nine phases, but two out of the three phases are by file wound, and they're like a thicker wire. That's why I try to use that. Um, again, if it doesn't work, oh well, I'll just use thinner wire because all I'm after with this is waveform shape this will let me know if I'm on the right track and like I said I can 
easily rewind it myself uh, numerous times over a weekend and, and play around with the windings. Once I'm satisfied with what I want, that's when I'll get that one wound with the full nine phases like Stan has. I know I said before I could do it with three, but um, I don't think I can. I think I, I, I need the nine. So anyway, that's it for now. Post your comments. If you've got any ideas, I'd love to hear them because... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying different things. If you've got something you want me to try, tell me. I'll try it. Anyway, bye for now. See ya.